This program is brought to you by Emory University. The six Tibetan Buddhist monks studying science at Emory University are wrapping up their careers at the school. I had a wonderful experience uh, being here, not only um, as a like as a student, but as uh, as a human being and also as a Buddhist monk. It, it's really great, you know. It's, it's amazing experience, you know, so far, you know. So if you if I share all the experience, like, you know, it, I know it definitely it takes, you know, maybe one one days or you know, at least five five hours. They came as part of the Emory Tibet Science Initiative in 2010. A vision of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, the goal is to bring modern science to monastic education and to integrate East and West traditions to bring his monks and nuns into the 21st century. These six monks are really the pioneers, I think, that uh, in uh, Tibetan monastic world for bringing modern science in a real way into the monastic setting. Their role is uh, to help kind of implement the modern science into monasteries and nunneries, um, they will be sort of the indigenous teachers. And they're taking with them more than just new knowledge. After three years at Emory, the group is translating into Tibetan new introductory science books they will take back to the monasteries in Dharamsala, India. My goal uh, is to go back to the monastery and uh, teach all the scientific, you know, scientific uh, science, uh, science materials that I have learned from here to other monks. When the monks arrived at Emory, they did so with little to no scientific training and minimal fluency in the English language. I've come to realize that all teaching is a kind of translation. Emory biology professor Ari Eisen has witnessed firsthand the growth of these students since he started working with them in India in 2008. Having them in class was great. It really changed the dynamic of a classroom, especially when they were in introductory biology when they first got here. So you've got all these freshmen who are also new and clueless in their own way with monks who they were especially new and clueless in that first uh, semester or two. With any other students, you get to know them, you get to know their eccentricities and personalities. And, um, so it's been a real honor, real pleasure. They taught me a lot, as I hoped they would, and I've, and I've ho hopefully taught them some biology. But today, much has changed from their English. I would say like, you know, extravagant. Phenomenal, the phenomenal words, I really like. I love to sit in the front of the car, and you know, one of my friends uh, told me that if you really want to be in the front seat, you should shout like shotgun. To their scientific knowledge. I think they're well on their way to, to being um, scientists, science teachers. While these monks are leaving Emory, their true journey is just beginning. And while they will miss many aspects of their time on campus... I will miss some, some friends, some faculty members who have been very generous to us. I think Emory community and professors and friends... The facilities, like, you know, they, you know, it's really a great place to you know, study. And also, you know, maybe internet and maybe hot shower. <laughs> They're equally as excited to be a piece of the Dalai Lama's vision and spread modern science throughout the monastic education system. I have already been here three years and had good enough opportunity and I feel under the monks you'll get opportunity to come here and to explore uh, different you know culture.